Right, so we defined a random variable x as the number of accidents at an intersection in a 24-hour day. And we said that from historical data, the average number of accidents in a 24-hour day is 1.2. So x follows a Poisson distribution with parameter 1.2. Now we would like to calculate certain probabilities. For example, we might be interested in finding the probability that exactly two accidents will occur in a given day. So we want to find the probability that x is equal to 2. Now we substitute it into the formula for the Poisson distribution. So the probability that x is equal to 2, it's e to the minus mu, and my mu is 1.2, times mu to the x. So mu is 1.2 to the power x, because I want to find the probability that x is 2, I substitute that with the 2, and then I divide it by x factorial. My x is 2, so it's 2 factorial. And you do, if you do the calculations, you get 0 0.217. Now we can ask another question, something like, what is the probability that more than one accident will occur in a given day? So we want to find the probability that x is greater than 1. We can also write this as the probability that x is greater than or equal to 2. Now remember that for a Poisson random variable, the random variable can take on the value 0, 1, 2, 3, and it goes on and on. There's no upper limit. So we would rather write this probability as 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 1, which is 1 minus the probability that x is 0 plus the probability that x is 1. Okay, so now we can just go and substitute into our formula for the Poisson distribution. Our parameter mu is 1.2 and our x, first of all, is 0 for the first one. And then for x equal to 1, I substitute my x with a 1. And that gives me a probability of 0 0.337. Okay, so we have defined x as the number of accidents at the intersection in a 24-hour day. Um, let's suppose now that we define another random variable, y, the number of accidents um, at the intersection in a week. So now y will also follow a Poisson distribution, but the uh, parameter will change. We will multiply the 1.2, which is the average number of accidents in a 24-hour day, we will multiply that by 7 to get the average number of accidents in a week's time. So y will follow a Poisson distribution with parameter 8.4. And now we can again calculate certain probabilities. So we can say, what is the probability that exactly two accidents will occur in a given week? So we want to find the probability that y is equal to 2. And now we substitute for our parameter 8.4 and our y value is 2, which we substitute into our formula to get 0 0.0079. And we can ask what is the probability that more than one accident will occur in a given week. So we want to find the probability that y is greater than 1. And we can write that as 1 minus the probability that y is less than or equal to 1. So we first find the probability that y is 0, and then the probability that y is 1. We add them together and subtract the sum from 1 to get a probability of 0 0.998. You will remember for the binomial distribution that there was a shortcut to find the mean and the variance for our random variable. The same is true for the Poisson distribution. The mean and the variance are very easy because both the mean and the variance for a Poisson random variable are given by the parameter mu. So for our example, the expected 
number of accidents in a 24-hour day is just equal to our parameter 1.2. The variance is therefore also 1.2 and the standard deviation is the square root of our variance which is 1.095.